So right now you're looking at Windows 8. If you have a Windows 8 tablet, if you have a Windows 8 desktop or notebook, when you turn on Windows 8, it's going to look like this. Um, this is essentially what you're going to see. And what you have is a series of, of tiles, and they're essentially shortcuts to apps, to email, um, to the internet. Um, and they all reside in this space. Now, Microsoft used to call this the Metro interface. Um, there have been some copyright, copyright claims um, made against Microsoft, so now they're just calling it the Windows 8 um, desktop or Windows 8 um, interface. Uh, and it's very similar to what you see on Windows Phone 7, Windows Phone 8, the new Xbox dashboard. So this is really Microsoft's look going forward. And as you can see, it's very swipe friendly. These are big, colorful icons. Uh, now, for users who prefer the traditional desktop, that's there as well. Uh, they'll be tucked here in the corner. And again, um, you can open up, say, Office or uh, Internet Explorer through here, uh, just as you would with a Windows 7 machine. Um, but the big thing is, uh, that's missing is that Start button that used to be right there where it would uh, scroll up and you could see all your apps and shortcuts to your apps. Instead, that's been replaced by this right here. So uh, the big thing is, this is going to be a learning curve. This is going to be tough for people to, uh, to get used to, particularly if they're used to Windows XP or Windows 7. Um, but as I said, uh, it is very touch friendly, it is very tablet friendly. Um, you can navigate this with cursor keys or with the mouse, it's a little more clumsy, but Microsoft is uh, seriously looking at tablets and touch devices as the future of computing, and uh, that's why we have this right here. So the, the interesting thing here is there's basically two levels of applications. Now, if you go to the desktop, um, this is basically where your full applications will reside if you have an Office or, um, like I said, Internet Explorer. Any of your old applications you had installed on Windows 7, you can install back into the desktop. But then when we go into this interface, the Metro, or the, the interface formerly known as Metro, um, they have what we call Metro Apps. And just in this space right here, there are apps built specifically for it that don't function on the desktop. And uh, those can be purchased via the store, uh, which is loading right now. And here you'll see a weather client, say, um, or a Twitter client, um, various games. Um, as you can see, it looks like the Metro, or the, the formerly known as Metro interface, and has all the apps that you can buy or download for free. And it's a lot like the uh, App Store or Google Play. Um, so to go back to it, um, let's show off uh, one of these apps. So here's a popular game called Fruit Ninja. It's popular with uh, the iPhone and the iPad and Android tablets. But uh, as you can see, you can play it real. Let's try that out. We can play that here on uh, the Windows 8 tablet. That's enough of that. Let's go back. And uh, also, these um, it, it, it's not really apparent right now, but these are supposed to be active tiles. So uh, say this is the weather tile, and if I opened it up, it would go into the, the weather app. Um, but if you go back to, you know, let's allow it. If you actually go back to this screen, what we should see is the current weather um, and the, uh, the weather conditions, the temperature and things like that. Uh, the same deal with, uh, say, your email. Uh, you should see a scrolling email. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have it set up right now. So let's take a look at email. Uh, now, a lot of people don't know this, but Microsoft bought Hotmail a long time ago, and they're currently rebranding it as Outlook because a lot of users move from Hotmail to Gmail, and they, they want to get them back. So um, Outlook is uh, tied into a, a Windows 8. Uh, as you can see, this is if you go to Outlook.com or Hotmail.com and sign in, you can get this look, but it's also embedded as the email app um, here at, uh, on the, the Windows 8 tablet. Um, and then also, instead of... Um, you can, you can use swipe motions to navigate. As you can see, I'm cycling through apps just by swiping. And of course, you can always go back by swiping that way. Uh, it's a very swipe-centric design, which is why it lends itself to tablets. Um, and also, if you have a really good trackpad on your notepad, um, you could probably mimic uh, the swipes that way as well. But again, for users with a uh, regular mouse or a lousy trackpad on, say, a budget notebook, they might have a little trouble uh, navigating, or it won't be as natural uh, compared to the old desktop experience, which is probably why uh, Microsoft decided to keep it in there.